At common law, a plaintiff couldn't recover damages for emotional distress unless he or she also suffered an accompanying physical injury as a result of the defendant's tortious conduct. However, most courts today allow a plaintiff to recover for emotional distress under the separate cause of action for Intentional Infliction of Emotional Distress, or IIED. In the 1974 case, Womack v. Eldridge, the Virginia Supreme Court considered whether a man whose picture was used in a child molestation case, despite his innocence, could prevail in an action for IIED. Rosalie Eldridge was a private investigator. In 1970, Richard Seifert had been charged with sexually molesting two boys in Virginia. Seifert hired an attorney who retained Eldridge to obtain a photo of Danny Womack, a coach at a local high school, to be used at Seifert's trial. On May 27, 1970, at about 8 a.m., Eldridge went to Womack's home to obtain the photo. Eldridge told Womack that she was Mrs. Jackson from a local newspaper and was taking photos for an article that she was writing for the local high school. Womack consented to the picture. At a preliminary hearing, Seifert's attorney showed the two boys Womack's photo and asked them whether he was the one who molested them. The boys replied he was not, and Seifert's attorney withdrew the photo. The state's attorney then asked to see the photo and requested more information. At the request of the state's attorney, Womack was brought into court to testify. Womack testified as to the circumstances under which Womack took the photo and stated that he didn't molest any children and didn't know anything about the charges against Seifert. A police officer questioned Womack several times on the matter, and he was summoned to appear before a grand jury, but never was called. Womack was also summoned to appear at Seifert's trial. Subsequently, Womack sued Eldridge in state circuit court, claiming that he suffered severe emotional distress as a result of Eldridge's willful, malicious, and deceitful conduct. Following trial, the jury returned a verdict in favor of Womack for $45,000. However, the court set aside the verdict on the ground that there could be no recovery for emotional distress in the absence of a physical injury. Womack appealed to the Virginia Supreme Court.